It's no question that film sets don't use phones for their cameras. But why, you may ask? Let's take a look at this in order of my personal opinion of importance. I think that sensor size is actually of the least importance. This phone, in particular, has a pretty sizable sensor, actually. If I recall, it's actually quite similar to the size of this camera, and this is a pretty darn good camera. In fact, cinema cameras usually actually have a slightly smaller sensor than full frame. They're usually more like APS-C, like with this camera. And a phone's sensor is usually only a few steps down from APS-C. What I think is more important than that, though, is lenses. It is very hard to put actual lenses on these phone cameras, because you can't take these ones off, and this one has no way to go on, so it's quite a bit of finagling. You need specifically designed formulas to go on to these cameras. And a lot of filmmakers already know what lenses they want to use, what look those lenses will give them, and if you're adapting to make them work on a phone, they'll most likely look quite different than they would on an actual cinema camera. So the next most important thing, I think, is the fact that it's kind of difficult to mount anything to a phone like this. Because, you know, sure, you do need to put a cage on cinema cameras, but the thing about cinema cameras is that they have ports all along everywhere. There's ports everywhere for stuff to plug into, and most phones only have the one. You may have seen Apple's event where they were showcasing their stuff, and the whole thing was shot on iPhone. But if you look at some of the behind-the-scenes footage, there was a lot going on just to make it work with an iPhone. It, it basically doubled the complexity to make it be shot on iPhone. So it is quite a bit harder, which leads us quite nicely into our next point. There's not really much in the way of buttons, but uh, yeah, basically you got a shutter button. Most cinema cameras have a ton of controls all over the body to make it easier. A lot of what is wrong with shooting with a phone is simply because of the convenience. For example, in the camera app, in order to change the exposure, you have to swipe up, you have to do that, go over here to exposure, and then slide this dial thingy to get a pretty limited exposure bracket. Whereas on a camera like this one, I mean, obviously this is not even close to a cinema camera, I can't even record video. You just have to turn this little dial up. Like, there's dedicated stuff for everything, whereas there is not for pretty much every phone. But, I would like to reiterate that the camera itself is really quite good. I'm using the phone I have as an example, obviously. This one has a 48 megapixel main camera, and a 12 megapixel really, really wide camera. And apparently, the sensor in this phone is a quad bear sensor, which means instead of looking like this, the sensor looks like that. Which means that when you zoom in, things are better, I guess? It, it performs a bit better in low light. Really, it's, it's not a bad camera. Phone cameras are not bad. It's just really, really, really inconvenient. Anyway, if you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing. Go follow me on Instagram. I haven't really posted much there, but um, I'm there now. Also, there's an AMA on the community tab. It's a couple posts down, but uh, it is there, so please go check it out and ask me anything. Uh -huh.